I hope everybody's doing well, having a beautiful day. I just got off the phone with my lady and we just had a, a fucking beautiful conversation. And it's nice to have somebody to be able to talk to that can relate to similar things that you've been through or just whatnot. And I guess here's, a, here's another part of my story. So I currently, yes, I live with my sister and her family down in Arizona. Before I was living in Washington, I sold everything pretty much I owned to come down here to start over. When you have nothing, you're so grateful for everything that you get. When you've, when you've been to a place where just even having a bottle of water is fucking appreciated because you know what? Back in the day when I was homeless and I was running the streets, I didn't give a fuck. I was just so worried about drugs. And today I have a pair of flip flops and a pair of boots. That's all I own. And I have a handful of clothes. Not like I wear any clothes anyway, but that's beside the point. But uh, I'm at where I'm at today because of my decisions. I'll have two months clean coming up and I've never taken the time. I've never taken a chance on myself like this, knowing that I could actually do something good. To anybody out there struggling, you got this, but you have to want it. You have to want a better life and you have to put in the work. I, didn't, I don't look like this because somebody pushed me out of bed and made me lift weights, made me go for a walk, made me, you know, become a better person. No, I had to do this on my own. I had to, you, nobody's going to force you to do this shit. And another thing is having somebody to talk to, having somebody to communicate with, and you know, having somebody that has similar experiences, being able to relate to people. That's a huge thing because you know, most people, they don't have somebody that they feel comfortable talking to without being judged, without being just criticized, anything, you know, you gotta, when you, when you talk to people, you gotta really have an open mind. And don't judge, because guess what? You don't know what people's experiences are. I've started over more than once. This is not my first time, but this will be my last time, I will tell you that, because I'm not doing this shit again. I'm old, I'm getting old. Er, <laughs> yes, I just turned 36, but my, mi my mind is not is not 36 years old. It's a lot older because of my experiences. Love and support the ones that you have around you that want the love and support. People that want to do good, you'll see it. They'll show you because when me and my sister talked, I told her, I said, I'm getting clean. This is it. I'm done. I'm not doing this shit no more. And you know what I started doing? I just got up and started beating feet in the morning. I just started walking. And you know what? It's the best thing that's ever done for me. I'm not stagnant. I keep myself busy regardless of what is going on. But it's easy to get caught up in the, somebody else's bullshit. And don't let yourself do that. Don't lose yourself. Because you know what? That's one of the hardest things. It's, it's hard to pull yourself back out of that shit if you're not in a strong mental state. But you got this. You just got to keep pushing forward. You just got to want better. It's out there. True love is out there. It's a beautiful thing too. Don't settle for something that's just mediocre. Your heart will know what it wants. You just give it a chance. All right, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. <laughs>